Hello everyone and welcome to a new class in uh, learning how to do finite element analysis using Abacus for beginners. In this example, we, uh, in this class we will solve an example of analysis of a thin plate with a hole. Before doing that, uh, I would like to apologize for you for the noise around me. I'm recording in, in the campus uh, and there is an event uh, just going on uh, very clear to me. So I'm apologizing again. Please accept my apology for that. Second of all, uh, probably you noticed that I changed the language used in, the, in this video series from Arabic to English. And why I did that? Because I got uh, an a request from people who don't speak Arabic. Uh, so in response to that, and in order to uh, give access for more people for uh, this series of videos, I will switch to, to English. For Arabic speakers I, who are originally targeted by uh, this series of videos, uh, I assume that you will understand my, my uh, simple English language. And uh, in order to make it easier to you, I will try to add an Arabic subtitle to this video and coming, vid uh, and, uh, coming videos. I didn't do that, so I don't. I'm not sure how to do it. Uh, I will try to do it. I will try it with my best. Uh, if I if I couldn't, I hope that you'll uh, understand that. And uh, if you have any question or not, or you have anything to tell me about, please let me know about it by writing to me. So uh, after that, we will go to our problem. And uh, this problem, as we said, that we can uh, analysis a thin plate. Uh, this thin plate uh, has a, 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 a sorry a circular uh, hole in the center of it, and we have a tensile stress applied on both left and right side of this plate. So we will do that, and we will see what type of stresses that will develop in this plate. As we have geometrical and load symmetry here, so we, if we can take only one quarter of our problem and analyze it, that will be very enough to do. And this will make uh, the execution time less than the required, and uh, by taking fewer uh, number of elements to do the analysis. The objectives of this class will be to learn how to build a model with multiple parts. Uh, if you noticed that this will be the first a little bit complicated uh, example that we are uh, trying to analyze in, in our series of videos. And uh, we will exercise a few more of the uh, options available for a graphical output. So we will uh, create the multiple parts and then we will specify interaction conditions between them and we'll see how to manage that. So the geometry of our problem says that we have a rectangular plate. This rectangular plate is 160 millimeter in length and 80 millimeters in height with a circular hole in the center of that plate of a diameter 40 millimeters. We are applying, as you can see, tensile uh, pressure on the right and left sides. So uh, it's uh, very important to know other uh, uh, other information available which is the pressure available here is 100 megapascal the modulus of elasticity is 200,000 megapascal and Poisson's ratio is 0.3 so I think you know that uh, this is a steel plate what else let's get started so by moving to Abacus we will start with the first module which is part and we will create two parts the first part we will call it plate one and we are doing a 2d planner uh, analysis we will keep the base feature to be show and approximate size to 200 and we will create an arc this is the quarter as you remember the center of this arc will be zero zero and it will start in zero twenty and it ends at twenty zero now I will try through this video to to learn how to do a, a, comp, a, a little bit complex um, choosing of number of elements that we need for each different part of this um, 
of this example so let me complete it and I will do something I will choose this lines and I will start from here moving up until 0 40 then to 40 40 I think it's a little bit yeah there we go then we will go to 40 0 and edit so press escape now I will try to divide this arc into two parts so I can uh, have more control on how to distribute number of elements in this arc so I will choose this line again starting from 0 0 going to 20 20 and that's it then I will go to edit and choose split and it's there's an, a question here saying that we need to select the curve to be split so I will choose this curve and this curve will be split using the other curve which is this one the line here and uh, we will see that we have this node uh, dividing the arc into two different arcs uh, so now I need to delete this line in order to do that I will choose this and choose the line say done and we are good now so this is the first part this is the first plate that we will have and then we will create another part the other part we're gonna call it plate 2 we'll keep everything as it is and we'll choose drawing a rectangle with starting point 0 0 and ending point which is 40 40 and press X and done so you have uh, the other part from that we are going to go to assembly and choose the both parts here saying okay now we need to move this rectangular part a little bit to the right so we'll have our space uh, as mentioned in our example so I will choose translate instance and choose the plate that I want to move it click done the starting point will be this point 0 0 and I need to move it for to the right at a distance of 40 so I will keep it as 0 0 this is the start point and now we need to select the end point which in our case will be 40 in x direction and 0 in y direction and here we go now you can see that we have our shape I will press OK. So, what, why I did that? I did that because this will give me more flexibility to have a better distribution of number of elements. So, instead of have equal number of elements in both areas, I will put extensive misgeneration, fine misgeneration here and I will have a coarse mesh in this part which is I'm not interested so much to understand what type of stress is here I will try my best to do all what I can do to understand the stresses going in this area in the best way this is the area of concentration that I'm looking for so in order to make these two parts into one part I need to merge them and I can do that by clicking here merge cut instances and I will call this is plate all and I need to be sure that the geometry is merged and to, to uh, click suppress and say continue then I will choose these two plates and say done so we have one plate now so I think we are good Based on that, I will move to the other module, which is the property, trying to define the properties of the uh, of our plate. So, um, as you can see, it's appeared to us that uh, plate two in front of us. Uh, we can change it to plate all. We need to define the properties of this plate. So, I will go to create material. Our material will be called the steel, and we need to define its mechanical properties so we'll choose elasticity and elastic as we remember the modulus of elasticity is 200 thousand megapascal and Poisson's ratio is 0.3 so we'll hit OK 
now we need to create the section and we'll press ok it's a steel place it press is equal to one because this is as we remember this is a thinner plate so we will define the thickness of uh, the plate to be one and we'll press ok and finally we will assign this section to this plate so we'll select the plate and section one okay and we are all good I will stop here and in our second part of this video I will try to go further and do the mesh analysis define the boundary condition and uh, the load of applied on this plate so see you soon